Welcome to WJMH Media's production of the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. It's a big night in Moundsville, West Virginia, as we celebrate the 50th annual Christmas Parade. Happy Holidays, I'm Tony Summers alongside WJMH reporters Jackie Blake and Shelby Moore. We're bringing you tonight's parade broadcast live on Facebook from the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce on the corner of 7th Street and Jefferson Avenue. We are ready to bring you full coverage of everyone's favorite holiday tradition, which includes interviews with sponsors and parade viewers. WJMH reporter Sydney Delgate is along the parade route tonight and will be joining us very soon. Along with Jackie, myself, and Sydney, our crew for tonight's broadcast consists of over 10 John Marshall freshmen through senior students who are working behind the scenes to make this production possible. We are committed to connecting, entertaining, and informing the John Marshall High School community and are proud to be the official production team for the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade once again this year. We're also excited to have fourth grader at Hilltop Elementary and WJMH meteorologist Emily Gotch joining us this evening. Stay tuned. Her forecast is coming up in just a few minutes. In the meantime, we would like to thank all of the sponsors who have helped make tonight's parade possible. Several of them will be joining WJMH reporter Sydney Delgate while we wait for the parade to begin. This includes Christian Turek of parade sponsor Gold Quarry and Turek. He joins Sydney now. Sydney. Why is it important for Gold, Corey, and Turak to be involved in the community such as tonight's parade? Well, we are a part of the community. You know, we live here, we work here, so we feel a very strong obligation and a duty to give back to this community that's given us so much. And, and at the end of the day, it's a lot of fun as well. Yeah. Thank you. Happy holidays. I'm Sydney Delgat. Thanks, Sydney. Gold, Corey, and Turak is a Silver Bell sponsor for tonight's event. Other Silver Bell sponsors include Southwestern Energy, West Virginia Northern Community College, and Prairie Insurance Centers. Main Street Bank is also a sponsor at this level, and WJMH reporter Sydney Delgate is standing by with bank representative Gary Martin. Hi, Sydney. What role does Main Street Bank play in the community? Well, we are a small community bank and locally owned. Um, we love participating in events like the parade tonight, kicking off the Christmas season. Um, any worthwhile causes in the communities that we're in, uh, we love to be a part of. Uh, tonight, in fact, we uh, have the Santa float, and uh, a lot of our employees, their children, and, and some of their family members are riding on it, and uh, we just enjoy these community events. Thank you. Thank you. Happy holidays. I'm Sydney Delgate. Thanks, Sydney. We also have various holiday sponsors for tonight's event. These include Dr. Angela Petros, PLLC, Bear Heritage Federal Credit Union, and Gary L. Lewis, DDS. The final sponsor at this level is West Banco. Katrina Boner from West Banco joins WJMH reporter Sydney Delgate now. Sydney. What does West Banco do to help the community? Um, well, here at West Banco, we are really proud to sponsor events and attend events like this um, tonight here in Moundsville and, um, ac and across our, fo our footprint. And um, we're just really excited to be here. And um, other events that we've sponsored here, we have a really great relationship with the city of Moundsville and uh, the Marshall County Chamber. We just wrapped up our um, tree gala that was just a few weeks ago. So um, we really like being involved when, in doing these type of things. Thank you. Happy Holidays, I'm Sydney Delgate. Thanks a lot, Sydney. The final sponsorship level is the Santa Premier Sponsors. Included at this level are businesses such as Chevron and Williams Energy. The Marshall County Commission is also a Santa Premier Sponsor. Representing the Commission tonight is Mike Farrow. He's with WJMH reporter Sydney Delgate now. Sydney. We're celebrating the 50th Christmas Parade tonight. Why is it a signature event for the community? I think it's a signature event, Sydney, simply because as part of the Marshall County Commission, we're a proud sponsor of this. And I think this signals the beginning of the holiday season. And as you can see, the rain hasn't dampened the spirits of all these folks that are around here. I think it's going to be a really exciting night no matter what the weather's like. Yeah. Thank you. Happy holidays. I'm Sydney Delgate. <coughs> Thanks, Sydney. Along with the Marshall County Commission, the City of Moundsville is also a Santa Premier Sponsor for the 2019 Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. We'd also like to recognize Santa Premier Sponsor Warren Distribution and IBEW 141. We'd also like to recognize Santa Premier Sponsor Warren Distribution again. Thanks again to all of the sponsors who have made this evening possible. 
WJMH Media's production of the 50th annual Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade will be rebroadcast several times throughout the holiday season on WLU-TV Xfinity Channel 14. It will also be available to watch at any time on topperstation.com. If you're watching our live broadcast on Facebook and are planning to line the streets of Moundsville to watch tonight's parade, you may be wondering if the rain will let up anytime soon. The person with that answer is standing by along the parade route. She is WJMH meteorologist Emily Gatz. Emily, will the rain be coming to an end anytime soon? Unfortunately, I do not have good news when it comes to the weather. It will continue raining throughout the parade. The temperatures are in the lower 40s, which means the rain won't turn to snow until, until overnight. If you plan to come to the parade in person, you should probably bring an umbrella. Happy Holidays, I'm Emily Getz. Thanks a lot, Emily. As the start of the 50th annual Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade nears, we'd like to recognize Mrs. Major's kindergarten class at Washington Lands Elementary School. The class submitted the winning idea for this year's parade theme, which is ABCs of Christmas. Always believe in Christmas. Earlier this month, the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce treated the class to a pizza party as a reward. The students really enjoyed the party and were thrilled to be recognized for their efforts. As you can tell, there has been a lot of preparation leading up to this event, including in the WJMH classroom. We've been hard at work in the works weeks leading up to this tonight and are very happy to have the opportunity to provide this broadcast to the community. We want you, the viewers at home, to get an inside look at what our students have done, so be sure to stay tuned after the parade is finished for a behind-the-scenes look. You might see some familiar faces on tonight's crew. It's also a chance for you to get better and look at some beautiful trees that were featured on the Christmas Tree Gala this year. Those trees were first presented at Light Up Night hosted by WVU Reynolds Memorial Hospital in early November. Later, they were auctioned off during the Tree Gala sponsored by West Banco and the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce. Each year, the Chamber of Commerce designates a local charity to receive a portion of the Tree Gala funds. This year's recipient was the Moundsville Veterans Honor Guard which is an organization that conducts numerous graveside services every year to help the family members of deceased military veterans. At that event, 18 Christmas trees, seven wreaths, and two sets of mantle decorations were auctioned. Various donations from individuals and businesses were also collected, and by the end of the auction, the Honor Guard received $4,500. Ladies, speaking of the Moundsville Veterans Honor Guard, WJMH Media will be honoring our veterans with a special edition episode of WJMH Reports. This episode will include features on local monuments, interviews, and a demonstration you won't want to miss. You can watch the show on WLU-TV, Xfinity Channel 14, at 7 a.m., 7.30 p.m., and 10.30 p.m., starting on Christmas Day. That episode, along with tonight's parade, will also be available to view on the John Marshall High School channel of topperstation.com. Then, starting on New Year's Day, you can watch another special edition of WJMH Reports. On this episode, our anchors will sit down with local professionals and residents that will help you learn how to keep some popular New Year's resolutions. This episode will also air at the regular WJMH Reports times, and like all of our productions, will be available on topperstation.com. Before those episodes, however, we're excited to once again include the children of the Ohio Valley in our production of Santa's Workshop. Four new episodes will air throughout the month of December, beginning Monday, December 3rd. Each show will air for one week, with the exception of the final episode, which will air only on Christmas Eve. If you miss any episode on WLU-TV or want to share the shows with family members who are not local to the Ohio Valley, they will also be available to watch at any time on the John Marshall High School channel on topperstation.com. We are very excited to bring you those productions along with tonight's broadcast of the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade, which is just moments away from starting. Our WJMH Media crew is set up along the parade route, which will begin on 2nd Street and then travel south on Jefferson Avenue, ending at 8th Street. We have so many great clubs and organizations participating tonight, including floats, dance studios, and school bands. Those in attendance are very excited for the parade to begin, and it seems we are ready to kick off the holiday season here in Moundsville. And ladies, you can see on your screen right now, people are dressed in rain gear, and I know, Shelby, you are a part of the speech team. Of course. And that means that when you are in a production on the speech team or anything scheduled like this, 
and there is severe weather or rainy weather like tonight. Tell me The old about saying it. is, Jackie, the show must go on, right? Yes. No matter what happens, I know Mrs. McElhaney tells you and all of the students who do WJMH reports every week that no matter what, the show must go on. So you have to meet deadlines. And even though it was a team effort tonight, I am very proud of everyone who put the parade together on the WJMH media crew because it took us double the time to set up than Absolutely. it really would. Yeah, definitely. And everybody in Moundsville seems to really show up and like stand out for us. Everybody's got their umbrellas, their ponchos, their rain gear. They're all ready for this. And it's I know both of you are really excited to see Santa Claus tonight, aren't you? Yes, I am for sure. Absolutely. Shelby, what do you want for Christmas? Well, for Christmas, I would love some new Legos for one. And, you know, a new car might not hurt. <laughs> okay, how about you? Believe it or not, I actually want a puppy for this Christmas. You do? Ooh. I do. What kind? A golden retriever. Ooh. Do you well, think you'll get it from Santa? I actually think I might. My mom's thinking about it. So. Oh, so it's not coming from Santa. It would come from your mother then. No. What would Santa bring you then? Hopefully another puppy. Oh, geez. <laughs> You're going to have friends. a whole kennel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's something that you would want to have at your house or not. Uh, two dogs? Oh, two yeah. new puppies? Yes. Oh, boy. But that's a lot smart. of responsibility there. The more the merrier. And speaking of Santa Claus, tonight not only will he have his reindeer here in Moundsville, they brought him here from the North Pole, you know. Of course. He also has to have his rain gear. Ha <laughs> ha. Mm-hmm. Oh, you didn't think that was funny? I mean, sure. I hope Melody is upstairs we'll you, we'll crying right now. Melody is our technical director tonight, and uh, when I do dad jokes like that, she usually cries. So I hope <laughs> that her tears aren't taking the place of the rain that's falling from the sky. As we heard from meteorologist Emily Gatz, temperatures right now are in the lower 40s and we do have rain coming down steadily here in Moundsville, West Virginia, but that's okay. We're still having a great time and we want to continue to enjoy the holiday season despite it being rainy. Wouldn't it have been great if it would have been snow though, Jackie? Yeah. Yes, that would be very pretty. Absolutely, and thankfully the rain has let up some from earlier, so it's not as bad as it was before. So I hope we'll see more of a turnout in the crowd. I hear some sirens, which means we are almost ready to kick off the 50th annual Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade here at our location. We're at the corner of Jefferson and 7th Street in the front yard of the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce building. It's also known as Kirkland, and it's a pretty historic building. I can't wait to see tonight's parade. You said it. We already mentioned this, but we could mention it again. WJMH Media is excited to once again bring you Santa's workshop. Santa and his elves will be reading from Wishlets from the Ohio Valley Kids. You can watch the shows on WLU-TV throughout the month of December to see Santa and his elves. Episodes will also be available on the John Marshall High School channel on topperstation.com. Those of you who are joining us right now live on Facebook, on the WJMH Media Facebook page, thank you so much for joining us. We are getting ready to see our first responders. And as always, tonight's parade will begin with first responders, including up first, the city of Moundsville, the Moundsville Police Department. Tim Mitchell is our police chief of Moundsville here tonight. That is Tom Mitchell, and Tom. his mom will be watching this via DVD, so we want to make sure we get his name correct. And he is also crowd control for us. I can see him where I am right now. He's standing on the corner of Jefferson and 7th Street. He makes sure that everyone is safe during the parade at our location, while his other great men and women on the force are making sure others are safe throughout the parade. Here comes another one of the Moundsville City Police Cruisers. They have to turn off their sirens when they get to our location, unless they want to put the sirens on because, you know, I don't want to rest it. I'm not going to go out there and tell them, Jackie, are you? No. Okay. <laughs> but the reason is we do not want that to be a part of the television broadcast so that we don't see and hear anything that's unusual. But it'll be okay. And behind the city of Moundsville, I'm sure that we will have, yes, we do. Right behind the city of Moundsville, we have the Marshall County Sheriff's Department. Kevin Cecil is the Marshall County Sheriff. And hanging out of that truck right there would be friends of Liam Cecil, 
who would happen to be the sheriff's son. There they are. I'm sure they are all Glendale Elementary students. If not, for the most part, oh, no, I see a hilltopper in there too. Yep, so we do have some Marshall County Schools kids in that sheriff's pickup truck. And behind that, we have another pickup truck, and there is the assistant. He is the, let's see, I think that was Bill Helms. Yes, it was. He is the chief deputy sheriff of Marshall County, Bill Helms. And following behind him, we have some other sheriff cars. And then we have the Marshall County Sheriff's Department, and we have a youngster in there, followed by the City of Moundsville Fire Department and the Moundsville Fire Department. Up first is the volunteer unit there. The Moundsville City Fire Department has been active since 1891, and the Moundsville Volunteer Fire Department has been in service for 65 years. We want to thank all first responders for everything they do each and every day of the year, keeping us safe. They are available 24-7, and the volunteers are just that, Shelby. They are volunteers. They are men and women who just want to give back to the community and would like to help others in their time of need. Absolutely. We would like to thank all volunteer and all first responders for all that you do for our community. Also here tonight is the Glendale Fire Department, who has provided 93 years of fire, rescue, and EMS services. We also have Jackie. The McMechan Police and Volunteer Fire Department, along with the Benwood Fire Department, is here as well. And you will also see coming across your screen throughout the parade here will be Cameron, Roberts Ridge, and Mozart Volunteer Fire Department. We want to thank those men and women again for their service 24-7 here in the Marshall County area. The Moundsville Volunteer Fire Department, the Moundsville Fire Department, all of the other volunteer fire departments around the Marshall County area, they like to keep their trucks pristine. I'm sure tonight is not one of those nights that they want to have their trucks out because they wash them and keep them clean all the time, Shelby. I love the festive decorations they have on it. You can tell they really went all out and really wanted to show up for our community. It's absolutely beautiful down here. Are you cold yet, Jackie? I see you have hand warmers. I do. <laughs> <laughs> so you are cold. Yes. <laughs> My hands are okay. I'm not too cold right now. That's because you have super heating units in your hands. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. You're cheating. It's not fair. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, you're not. <laughs> I am not. You're right. <laughs> wow. I see how it is. <laughs> <laughs> All first responders participating in the parade this year would like to wish everyone a safe and happy holidays. And we would like to thank them for their service to our community. There is Cameron Volunteer Fire Department, or the Cameron Fire Department. We don't really get bios from the first responders, so we're just kind of looking at their vehicles and talking as we can. There's Mozart. They are a volunteer fire department. That's absolutely wonderful. And we like to teach the youngsters that if there happens to be an emergency at their home, they need to dial 911, but you don't want to dial 911 unless there's an emergency because if not, then they come check things out and you can get in trouble. Yes, you can. Yes, Santa would not approve. He would not. No. <laughs> and you know it's all about Santa this time of year. We all have to be good boys and girls, or as Santa sometimes calls the youngsters, good apple dumplings. I've not heard that, but I, I, I'll believe you. I'll oh, believe yes. Santa. Oh, yes. When I was a kid and we used to sit on his lap at the mall, he would always say, have you been a good apple dumpling this year? Well, that's pretty neat. Now you're just making me hungry. <laughs> apple dumplings? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm That does sound good. I'm a little hungry. I had dinner at Melman's Cafeteria tonight. My mm -hmm. wife and I eat there about at least once a week, <laughs> sometimes twice a week, sometimes three times a week. Oh, it must be really good. It is Excellent. I've been going there since I was a little kid. My grandparents, Betty and Wayne Voorhees, used to take me there as a youngster, and I have continued that tradition of trying to eat there every 
Friday evening because that's something that we did together, and I cherish those memories. That's precious. That's awesome that you continue that tradition. Do you have any Christmas memories you'd like to share, Shelby? I remember waking up every Christmas morning, running down the stairs to see what Santa had left us, and it was always just a really festive time for my family and I because we were always just so excited to see what we had gotten. And then we would kind of go to like my grandparents' house, Nancy and Michael Moore, and we would have a lovely time with them, show them what we got, and they were so excited for us. And like so excited just to see how we shared the Christmas spirit together. And I mean, I'll always remember that with extreme fondness. What about you, Jackie? Um, yeah, I do have a couple good Christmases. Um, I remember one year I had a lot of my family come in, probably about 15, 20 people. And we were all together opening presents. And it was very loud. But it was very <laughs> fun and very memorable. I couldn't imagine you being loud, Jackie. Never. Uh, <laughs> I am loud. Yeah, your brother, too. Oh, uh, all four of them. <laughs> well, I only know one. Oh, uh, yeah. And he was loud. Some of my favorite Christmas memories would be waking up and heading downstairs to where we had our Christmas tree in the rec room and seeing WWF at the time, now WWE, action figures. I was so excited to get Hulk Hogan, Hillbilly Jim, (laughs) the Iron Sheik, Nikolai Volkov, Superfly Jimmy Snuka. But back then... They would only come out with new wrestling action figures maybe once a year or once every two years. Now it seems like they come out with new ones every week. I don't buy them anymore, but I see them in the store, and I think, oh, my goodness. I would never have been able to collect all of those action figures since they have so many. Yeah, absolutely. And, I mean, it's just the fun in doing it so that counts. I mean, as a child, you're really not focused on, like, all that you have, but, like, all that you can accomplish, and I love that. And as I got older... A fond memory of Christmas would be that I proposed to my wife, Kim, on Christmas Eve. That is so sweet. Yes, I had hidden her engagement ring and a pair of slippers, and I (laughs) bought all of these bogus presents. And she was very grateful and didn't complain (laughs) that, oh boy, I don't know that I want an Afghan, or (laughs) I don't know that I want this or that, but she's been a great companion, and... That was very special to me that we got engaged on Christmas Eve. Let's let's hope that you're thankful that she didn't step on the ring in her slippers. (laughs) Well, she didn't put them on. My sister said, stuff it down in the slipper and she'll never find it. Well, as soon as she opened the gift and it was a pair of slippers, she put her hands in there to feel how soft they were and she pulled it out. So, yes. Well, that's absolutely precious. That's It was great. Congratulations to both of you. That's amazing. Thank you. We just celebrated... A milestone. We've been together for a long, long time. Back in the dinosaur ages. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) The Moundsville Veterans Honor Guard provides final salutes for more than 120 veterans per year within a 50-mile radius. It's all about respect for the veteran and their family. It's earned, not given. The president of the Proud Organization is still Mike Kuzma this year. American Legion Post, chartered in 1993, has proudly served veterans and their family for 100 years. The American Legion sponsors the youth activities and promotes patriotism throughout Marshall County. They welcome veterans and active military to become members. And we couldn't do what we're doing right now without our veterans. Those veterans are what keep us going, serving in the military. Girl Scout Troop 3460 has juniors and cadets walking this year in the parade. They are currently working on their silver project. They carry the 50th anniversary Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade banner. Tonight's Grand Marshal is Don Mason. Mason first took office as a Marshall County Commissioner in 1986. He has served the community in a number of ways for the past 28 years. He's been involved with businesses into bettering the quality of life for residents in Marshall County. One of Don's most noticeable contributions to our community is the 13 plus gallons of blood he has donated to the American Red Cross throughout the years. Also, many Ohio Valley residents might know Don as a banker, spending many years at Mercantile Bank, One Valley Bank, and I'm not sure if he was still there once One Valley turned to BB&T, but he was a part of the banking circuit here in Marshall County for years and years, and we are so happy that Donald Mason is this year's Grand Marshal as we celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade.
The Moundsville and Sherrard Middle School Bands have a combined 100 members. The Moundsville Middle School Band has been under the direction of Mrs. Sue Lewicki for the past 18 years. The Sherrard Middle School Band has been under the direction of Mr. Jason Birch for the past three years. They are playing Jingle Bells for us tonight. Ladies, let's take a listen to the Moundsville and Sherrard Middle School Bands. Sound good, ladies. Yes, they do. This vehicle is being driven by Moundsville City Manager Richard Healy. Members of Moundsville City Council include Mayor Philip Remke and Vice Mayor David Wood. Council members include Judy Hunt, Gene Saunders, Ginger DeWitt, David Haynes, and Sarah Wood. We would like to thank them for being a sponsor of the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade, and behind them, we have the Moundsville City Street Department. They are a big help all year long. As a matter of fact, they help us get the parade together. And what does it say on his? It's a Butte Clark. Oh, boy. <laughs> so that's from the Family Vacation Christmas version. I think it's the National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation is where that came right. from. Area Lets enjoy performing in the area parades. They dance and compete all over. They were world champions in 2018 and placed third overall at Worlds in 2019. Sit down, Shelby. They don't need your help. You know what? I'm trying. I'm I thought trying. maybe you were going to go out there and cut a rug. You were getting up out of your seat. I was ready for it, you know, but they walked They walked past me. They didn't want my talent. No, I they're tried. still coming. <gasps> I've got my chance. No, you don't. Yes, we're I do. Don't let her go, I Jackie. can run fast. She can do it. <laughs> you can. Let's go. I'm going to cheer you I'm sure you could. Yes. You have, you have my support. Someone get a camera. Wait. We're good. I don't think you've ever been in a dance troupe, have you? I was when I was five. So oh, okay. long, long ago, I was in ballet. Wow. Yeah. Fantastic. Jackie, have you ever been in a dance troupe? I have not, but I've always wanted to be. They look very festive. I love the red. I love their lights on their dresses and on the top of them. Absolutely. Look at them go. And they're flipping and dancing despite the rain. Absolutely. They're definitely keeping up the Christmas cheer. They are. We need to hire a couple of them. Yeah. Maybe they could teach you a move or two. Well, you know, let's let's see what they can do for <laughs> you first year. <laughs> They're even handing out candy along the parade route tonight. This is very exciting. People still coming out to see the 50th annual Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade despite some drip drops from the rain. It looks like they've almost stopped. Well, maybe Mother Nature is giving us a brief, brief respite from the rain that's falling here tonight. Knock on wood. <laughs> The Ash Avenue Church of God reminds you that Christmas is all about Christ, is all about Christ and invites you to worship on Sunday mornings at 8:30 or 10:45. This beautiful float you're seeing was constructed by Haven Youth Ministries and church members. Ash Avenue Church of God is located on the corner of Ash Avenue and Center Street in Mansville. They sound good. Absolutely. They have a live band on the float too. They do. They're playing Mary Did You Know and a beautiful rendition of it. I wish I had that kind of talent where I could sing. Yeah, I've I'll, heard you. I, I, I advise that you don't yes, sing. No, I will not <laughs> sing for anyone watching right now live on Facebook or anyone watching on Comcast, Xfinity, Channel 14, WLU-TV, or topperstation.com. Auto Choice that you're seeing now has proudly served the Ohio Valley for over 22 years. Owned and operated by the Hunnell family of Moundsville, West Virginia, they pioneered the deep discount, high volume, no pressure approach to selling vehicles. And behind them, we have Bear Heritage Federal Credit Union. The Moundsville branch of Bear Heritage Federal Credit Union prides itself in building personal, long-lasting relationships with all of its members. With this rapidly growing credit union, members will enjoy low rates on loans and checking accounts. 
And now we have Bordis & Bordis, which is a plaintiff's litigation law firm based in Wheeling. They have offices in Moundsville, St. Clairsville, and Pittsburgh. They support numerous local events and charities in the tri-state area and are honored to be involved with exceptional organizations to make a difference. I think they have the legal beagle somewhere out there. I hope he's on a leash. <laughs> there is a leash law in Moundsville. <laughs> the Cameron Junior and Senior High School Band now includes sixth grade. They are playing music from the movie Frozen, including Let It Go, For the First Time in Forever, and Do You Want to Build a Snowman? They are accompanied by Cameron Elementary's fifth grader band. Marshall County Emergency Management conducts emergency planning, response, recovery, training, and exercises with local, regional, state, and federal partners and agencies. They have four full-time employees and are managed by Director Tom Hart. The Office of Emergency Management would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Marshall County 911 was started in 1994. They currently employ 19 people who proudly serve the citizens of Marshall County. Marshall County wants to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. These men and women who work for Marshall County 911 and the Office of Marshall County Emergency Management are also on call 24-7. If there's a disaster, if someone needs help, these are the men and women who also help out our first responders. So thank you for your service. Behind the car that you're seeing right now, you are going to see the Marshall County Mobile Command Center. And this is what goes to all of the natural disasters that would happen or man-made disasters or any emergencies that would happen within the county or the region. They take this Marshall County Mobile Command Center and set it up at the location. And that's where they do all of their communicating, either via the internet, via phone. They have briefings inside there. It's really neat. I've been inside it before. As Christmas is nearing, elves are hard at work in Santa's workshop. They rush to decorate the sleigh to deliver gifts to everybody. Domino's would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. I hear another band. It is the Shadyside Marching Band, and unfortunately, their director of bands did not send us any bio information, so we don't know who that person is, and we don't know any information about them other than they are from Shadyside, and they are the Tigers. We want to take a listen right now to the Shadyside Marching Band. Here they go. Don DeWitt, a candidate for Marshall County Magistrate, joins us in the parade this year. Don graduated from FBI National Academy in West Liberty State College. He has 22 years of law enforcement experience and is the current Chief of Police in McMacken, West Virginia. His wife, Ginger, is a council person in Moundsville. The first Christian church of Moundsville went all out on their van. The lights on the van represent the light of the world. They also encourage you and urge you to keep Christ in Christmas. Here comes Girl Scout Troop 10014. Led by Lacey Chansey and several dedicated assistants, they meet at the First Christian Church in Moundsville. The troop is made up of brownies, daisies, and junior levels. They look like they're having a good time tonight despite the rain. I can still hear the rain, the pitter-patter on the roof. It's much better than sitting. earlier. That's right. Gold, Corey, and Turek is using their float to recognize something positive about the Marshall County community. This year, the law firm congratulates Jennifer Schwartfeger, the 2020 West Virginia Teacher of the Year from Cameron High School. She is and there she is on your screen right now. She is joined by family, teachers, and member of GKT. She would like to remind all students that science is all around you. 
congratulations to Jennifer Schwartfager, 2020 West Virginia Teacher of the Year. And all of the other great teachers who teach STEM and also science in Marshall County. We have some great faculty and staff in Marshall County Schools. Great bus drivers, custodians, teachers, principals, administrators. We're blessed to have what we have in Marshall County when it comes to Marshall County Schools. Absolutely. And we would also like to mention that Christian Turak is running for West Virginia House of Delegates in 2020. He was a part of the GKT float as well. He is an oil and gas attorney in partner with Corey and Turak. Take a Bow Dance Center has been teaching children in the Ohio Valley the art of dance for over eight years. They specialize in many genres of dance, including acrobats, hip-hop, contemporary, and many more. They also offer dance at a, co at a competitive level. All entries should be lit. Look what's lit on them. <laughs> it's their shoes. They're all green and blue. It's like some of them are changing colors, too. I think you would look cool in a pair of those. <laughs> I will ask Santa as he rides by here in a little bit. There's great shoes. Green Acre Power Sports is one of the Valley's largest dealers of Polaris off-road vehicles. Somehow, Christian Turak is now in the parade. We mentioned that he is running for West Virginia House of Delegates in 2020. He was supposed to be right next to the GKT float, but he is now on your screen. We want to thank him for being one of the sponsors of the 50th annual Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. Now we're up to who? We're up to Green Acres Power Sports. It's one of the Valley's largest dealers of players offered vehicles and outdoor power equipment. You can visit them at 1610 Wheeling Avenue in Glendale. And they are staying dry in that wee little ranger. It's probably something that you have at your house, right? I in do. In Sand Hill? <laughs> <laughs> Out in the middle of nowhere, what else do we got to do? That's true, although this one looks more like you, Jackie, this red one. What's that supposed to mean? That means it fits you. It matches your jacket. Thank you. And it was a little more stylish than the other one. Yeah, Aww. that first one's you. Who do we have up next, Jackie? Spike is back with the Wheeling Nailers, drawing three million fans to their games. This is the 28th year the Nailers have called the Ohio Valley home. The team is a proud affiliate of the Pittsburgh Penguins. The Nailers play a big role in the community while providing affordable entertainment for the whole family. And they just had their annual education game this past Tuesday. My nephews, Carson and Colin, they go to St. Clairsville Elementary School and they went to the game and had a blast. They said they screamed at the top of their lungs and they really enjoyed the Nailers game. The American Cancer Society's Relay for Life is celebrating 35 years of hope in 2020. Relay for Life of Marshall County raises funds for the American Cancer Society towards research and resources for the citizens of Marshall County. They have an event scheduled for May 29, 2020 at the John Marshall High School North parking lot. Have either of you ever been to a Relay for Life event? I have not. Have you, Jackie? I have not. It is a special night. Hudson Premier Physical Therapy and Fitness is coming along now. Their theme is, in a world full of Grinches, be a Griswold. The vehicle is transformed into the famous Griswold wagon by Doug Hudson, Patty Bungard, and Lizzie Ingram. And that would be Clark W. Griswold, the guy who is in charge of <laughs> Wally World. It's a movie. And it was an 80s movie, so I'm sure you ladies have not seen it. You underestimate me. I have. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have a regatta fest. Let's see. Queen, Lainey Brown. And we do not have a bio for her. If we do, it's not where it should be, or she's not where she should be. So <laughs> there she goes by. She is the New Martinsville area regatta Fest Queen, and she will be competing in a pageant in January at the West Virginia Association of Fairs and Festivals. The Marshall County Panthers are an amateur sports team from Marshall County. The Panthers' mission is to teach the importance of teamwork, discipline, good sportsmanship, and to have fun in the process. Sounds like they have some cheerleaders with them as well, maybe some sisters. I can't see. No, maybe it's just all the team members who are cheering. They've got a couple cheerleaders up there. Oh, okay. Yes, I do see them now. 
Thank you for pointing that out. Are they yelling for Santa? I think they're battle cries, <laughs> let's go Panthers. Oh, okay. I thought they were saying, let's go Santa. Couldn't blame them. Yes, that's right. We'll join them. Give us a second. <laughs> that is for sure. Don't forget to watch WLU TV throughout the month of December to see Santa and his elves. WJMH production of Santa Workshop will air daily. You can also watch on the John Marshall High School channel on tarperstation.com. And I cannot wait to see Santa. He is coming to the studio this Tuesday. Williams Energy owns and operates gathering and processing assets in interstate natural gas pipelines. Involvement in the communities where they operate is the heart of Williams. They wish everyone a safe and happy holiday season. They are restocking their candy supply right there. The wives must be in charge of candy and their husbands are giving it out or just other maybe employees of Williams Energy. And I'm not sure, oh, this is a fair queen. This is Lily Williams. She is the 2019 Marshall County Fair Senior Preteen. She's the daughter of Jerry and Heather Williams and is being driven by her sponsor, American Roofing, owned by her uncle. And behind her, Shelby, we have... Hayden Crow, the Marshall County Fair Junior Preteen Queen, is riding up now. She is sponsored by her uncle, Jeff Kramer. She's waving out the window there, staying dry tonight. She's a part of the Marshall County Fair Royalty. Marshall County Fair 2019 Queen Kendra Callahan is riding by now. She is the daughter of Tim and Juliana Callahan. She's being driven by her father in his 1976 Jeep coming now. She will be coming on your screen momentarily. There she is in the green Jeep driven by her father, Tim. I almost said Juliana Caulfield because I graduated with Tim and Juliana, and that was her maiden name, but it's now Callahan. So I almost said Caulfield. Now we have the IBEW. Let's try to find them in our books. They were supposed to be a few back. The International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local Union 141, strives to be the very best trained, highly productive, and safest in their field. They have been chartered in the Ohio Valley since 1902 and are proud partners of this community and surrounding hometowns. They would like to take this time to thank all of their area businesses and residents that use them to build and maintain their businesses, homes, and factories. They have a toy soldier on their float. I have one of those in my house. <laughs> <laughs> now we have the McMechan First Church of God, and they would like to encourage everyone to always believe in Christ this Christmas. The float was built by members of the church and youth ministry members. They pray that everyone will be blessed with Jesus' love this Christmas. There it is on the side, always believe in Christmas. The theme chosen by Mrs. Major's kindergarten class at Washington Lands Elementary School. Great way to incorporate that into their float, the McMechan First Church of God. And now we have... Adriana Shell Hayes is representing the Miss America Scholarship Organization. The organization supports volunteering and collecting donations for the Children's Miracle Network. Adriana is the 2020 Miss Morgantown's Outstanding Team. And behind her, Shelby... Alyssa Henry will be representing the Northern Panhandle in Charleston for Mrs. West Virginia pageant in February. Her platform is focused on medical needs and different health care industry issues. I love the yellow. I do. It's very bold. It is. Yes. It's nice and bright. Oh, she's got a little wreath on the back. The Ohio Valley Soapbox Derby is a youth racing program and has run nationally since 1934. The local race is held in Glendale every year in June. First place winners of the stock and super stock will go to Akron, Ohio for the World Finals. The Ohio Valley Soapbox Derby is in its sixth year of racing. It sounds like fun. It does. <laughs> I know that one of my friends, Chris Williams, his daughter, she races in the Soapbox Derby. It's, it's a fun event. I've never been in a soapbox, but 
I've been on a soapbox. No, <laughs> I'm sure you don't know what that means. I do not. When you're getting lectured by someone, they say, get off your soapbox. So I'm sure I've lectured someone over the years. Overta's Queen of the Valley Freightliner Trolley Bus joins us again this year. Used for special events like proms, weddings, and parades, she's currently decked out with over 3,500 lights for the holiday season. You can reserve the Queen of the Valley by calling Overta. Shelby, you knew what that meant. On yeah, the soapbox. I knew what that meant. I graduated with your mother, too. So. Yeah, trust me. I've heard the terms. It's <laughs> many, many times. Th- no, I'm kidding. She's <laughs> wonderful. She is. Pack 82 and Troop 82, located in Glendale, present a Boy Scout Believes. Cub Scouts range from kindergarten through fifth, and Boy Scouts range in grades sixth through twelfth. They work hand in hand to bring new opportunities to everyone, and all have the same goal of becoming Eagle Scouts. And not all, not all of them are walking. I think we have some riding in the back of the truck, right? A Cub Believe Scout so. believes. Right there is their float. They have the American flag. And they got a boy in there waving. Great organization. Absolutely. Who do we have up next? Do you know who that is, Shelby? I believe that is SNS Motorsports. They go the extra mile and provide in quality and recreational sports vehicles and equipment. Beyond the excellent service they provide, their attractive pricing fits almost every budget. See for yourself the difference SNS Motorsports offers individuals and families looking for that special Christmas gift. They are located just a couple of minutes outside of Martins Ferry, Ohio, on Coal Rain Pike. I love the float. Absolutely. With blue lights on the tree. Very festive. Liberty Tax Service is in its eighth year in the Ohio Valley. The Moundsville office is located across from Walmart and is owned and operated by Tom Perry, current owner of Perry Insurance Centers, and Sean Pennybacker, owner of Pennybacker Lawn and Landscaping, LLC. Tax season is from January to April, and hours during those months are 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday, and Sunday by appointment. And then behind them we have Unified Bank. Unified Bank has convenient branch locations throughout the area. The Unified Christmas Float is brought to you by those branch locations. Unified Bank is creating better lives and futures for the people and communities they proudly serve. And by the way, ground was just broken recently for its new Moundsville location on the corner of 7th and Tomlinson Avenue. So we're excited to have Unified Bank in the community and in Marshall County. Another very colorful, festive float. And I see some bears on there. Panda bears? Panda bears. Beautiful. I like it. I might take one home. (laughs) (laughs) United Steelworkers are walking for the first time in tonight's parade and are very excited to be here. The USW has more than 1,800 local unions throughout the United States and Canada. The Local 152M was founded on March 31, 1937, and represents 76 members working at Technocap in Glendale, which produces metal closures for jars and bottles. You're going to have a zoo at your house. Two new puppies and a panda bear. I already have four cats. (laughs) Oh, boy. (laughs) (laughs) And your mom will be okay with that? Yes, she loves animals. She could be using them as some of her props for her photographs that she takes. Uh, They (laughs) might tear it up. (laughs) The Washington Lands Wildcats flag football team may have not stolen the season, but they will sure steal your hearts. Their float is Grinch themed. From their family to yours, they hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I love Brenda Lee's version of the song that we're hearing right now. You want to sing it? I'll let you do it. Let's no, see. no, no. Aw. When you hear. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that was bad, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think Let's be jolly. Rocking around the Christmas tree. All of our wildcats down here seem to be having a great time. And they have stolen our hearts, just like they put in the bio. I mean, they made a claim. They proved it. They did. Credit where credit's due. <laughs> People still enjoying the parade. The rain has 
kind of become just a drizzle right now instead of a heavy downpour, which is great. But I am just so thankful that everyone came out tonight to enjoy the parade and thankful for everyone watching us right now on the WJMH Facebook page. West Liberty University Student Dental Hygiene Association has another float this year. It's titled Happy Holiday Teeth and with good reason, Shelby. The teeth on the side, along with students riding on the float, have lighted antlers, Santa hats, and elf hats. And they are handing out toothbrushes to everyone along the parade routes. I got a toothbrush last year. Did you really? I did. They tossed it right at me. And I actually, <laughs> I still have it. I haven't even opened it yet. So you haven't brushed your teeth in a year? Is that what you're telling me? No, oh, okay. <laughs> no, it's just, I haven't opened that toothbrush in oh, a year. Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. See how I, it is. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought that's maybe what you were trying to tell me. <laughs> no, that's gross. <laughs> Here comes World's Junior Miss Mountaineer Tourism 2019, Emmalyn Richards. With her is International Miss Tourism Beauty 2020, Amanda Goldsberry. These girls' pageant titles are all community service-based. And then we have Carly Jo Cochran, who is the 2019 West Virginia Rivers and Rails Bass Festival Preteen Queen. Carly is 10 years old and attends Washington Lands Elementary School. She would like to invite everyone to join next year's festival. I can hear the bass, ladies. They're getting ready. I think there's a song, right? It's all about the bass, all about that bass, no Please, treble. That, that is Megan not it. Trainer. That's, what? that's Megan Trainer. I said, no, I said there is a song that goes, it's all oh. about the bass. No, no. I thought I you said their talk. song was no, that. No, 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 no. This is the Generations of Steppas. It's a nonprofit organization that was created in 2002. The group provides children of all ages a safe place to express their creativity. The dance group is free of charge for all area children to join and learn the art of hip hop dance, teamwork, and respect. I always enjoy their performance every year during the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. They're decked out in camo this year with a little bit of red and white. I'm wearing red. I should go out there and dance with them. Uh, no, you stay in your seat as well. <laughs> now, what's the name of this song playing right now? Um, Old Town Road. Okay. I think so. Yes. Not Megan Trainer. Yeah, I didn't say it. I was just saying there was a song that says it's all about that bass. Well, you'd be correct there. Okay. So I had a little bit of it right. The Generations of Steppas. Thank you so much for coming to Moundsville to be a part of the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade this year. And I think they've been in the parade now several times. ICR Equipment Rentals Sales and Supply is proud to be a part of this year's Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. They serve workers of all industries in industrial resident supply, PPE, and apparel, hardware, and the equipment you need to get the job done right. ICR would like to thank the Valley for its continued support and looks forward to the continued growth of Ohio Valley and its communities. And not only do they have the van in this parade this year, they also have one of their flatbed trucks pulling a small float. Someone is sitting on a Yamaha and I'm not sure exactly what that is. I can't see it from my vantage point. Is that a backhoe? Does it have a scoop on the front? Uh, I think it has. I believe so. It does. Okay. I couldn't see from our vantage point. I believe that's a But I can a now on the screen. Looks like Andrew Sampson has a good shot of that right now. Up next, we have your friendly Valley-wide Spider-Man and the Valley Avengers group and they are volunteer superheroes. Their mission is to bring smiles to all kids in the Ohio Valley. They're committed to bringing awareness to childhood cancer and homelessness. We just had Batman at six of our elementary schools the past two days, speaking about not being a bully, Shelby. Well, <laughs> see how it is. That's all, <laughs> that's all you had to say, right? Is That's the Joker? I plead the fifth. Okay. What a wonderful and then joker he is. Spider Man, or as my nephew Colin used to call him, Piter Man. I believe we have a Batwoman up there, too. Here is Cub Scout Pack 78 from Moundsville. And I'm not sure where they are in our bios, so as they walk by, just enjoy them. It's the Ohio Valley Council 
BSA. Did you find it, ladies? Did not. Did Me not either. either. I love the float. They have mountain bikes and then the nativity scene, or is that a bridge? I can't tell. I believe that's a bridge. Okay. They definitely went all out. That is beautiful. They did. Very nice. They've got a small mountain. <laughs> a small mountain. And then we have West Virginia Northern Community College. It is a public comprehensive college, and it's available to everyone in Wheeling, Weirton, New Martinsville, and beyond. They offer a wide variety of programs and courses and remains among the lowest in the state with tuition cost. You can still apply for the spring semester and the 2020 fall semester. Beautiful float there. Someone behind them is from WTOV9. They are the Ohio Valley's number one source for news, weather, and sports, and that is WTOV reporter Gage Golding. I don't see Snowbird, though. No. The John Marshall High School band is under direction of Tracy Philbin. The percussion instructor is Jason Birch. The field commander is Braden Snyder, and the drumline captain is Hannah Lynch. The Monarchs would like to invite everyone to their holiday performance, Monarch Titans, on Thursday, December 12th at 6 p.m. Let's take a listen to the John Marshall Marching Monarchs. Behind the Monarchs, we have the cheerleaders. Love hearing the John Marshall Marching Monarchs under the direction of Tracy Philbin. What a talented group of young men and women. Main Street Bank is proud to present Santa Claus again this year. The bank is locally owned and managed. They recognize the importance of being locally based and staffed by banking professionals. Santa's being accompanied by staff, family, and friends of Main Street Bank and would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Some people call him Jolly Old St. Nicholas. Some people call him Father Christmas. Others just call him Santa, but we all love him. Look at him there, the jolly old man from the North Pole. He is ready to deliver toys to all the good boys and girls of the Ohio Valley. What a great night we have had here in Moundsville, West Virginia. And what better way to end the parade than with Santa Claus himself. What do you think, ladies? I think it's a wonderful way to start the season here in Moundsville. I really, really enjoyed the parade this year. We had a great time celebrating 50 years of the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade here in Moundsville. I got to tell you, I don't want to pick a favorite entrant tonight because I want to say a big thank you to everyone who came out and supported tonight despite the rain. And also, I want to thank all of the entrants who stuck out the inclement weather and participated in tonight's parade. What Absolutely. about you, Shelby? I loved seeing all the bright holiday cheer from everybody. It practically radiated off of them, and I loved seeing the beautiful holiday lights that they came up with. What about you, Jackie? I can say the same. Just the same? Yeah. You Actually, get off easy that way. <laughs> yeah, I do. I loved everything about it. I don't have a favorite thing about it. I don't so. either. I think that the entire event was great. We were able to enjoy tonight's parade thanks to our hard work of the WJMH Media crew and everyone involved, including tonight's sponsors. The Santa Premier sponsors for tonight's event are the City of Moundsville, the Marshall County Commission, IBEW 141, Chevron, Williams Energy, and Warren Distribution. Silver Bell sponsors include Main Street Bank, Gold Quarry and Turak, Southwestern Energy, West Virginia Northern Community College, and Paris Insurance Centers. And holiday sponsors include Dr. Angela Petros, PLLC, Bayer Heritage Federal Credit Union, Gary L. Lewis, DDS, and West Banco. Without these sponsors, tonight's parade and broadcast would not have been possible. Ladies, I would also like to thank the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce for asking WJMH Media to be the production team for the parade again this year and for their help in making the event run so smoothly for us. 
Also, I would like to thank the Moundsville Volunteer Fire Department. They were instrumental in lighting the street for us tonight, so they were a big help as well. We would like to thank them for all they do, not only tonight, but throughout the entire year. The Christmas Parade Committee and WOUTV are also on the list of people we would like to thank. Remember, along with tonight's Facebook Live broadcast, the parade will be rebroadcasted throughout the holiday season on WOUTV Xfinity Channel 14. It will also be available to watch at any time on John Marshall High School channel of topperstation.com. And if you'd like to own a DVD copy of tonight's parade, you can do so by contacting WJMH Media at 304-843-4476. That's 304-843-4476. We would like to recognize all of our WJMH crew members who are working hard behind the scenes tonight to make this production a success. Students have put in a lot of work not only today, but in the past two weeks leading up to the event. We'd especially like to thank WJMH seniors and parade producers Melody Howe and Logan Riggenbach, along with Lindsay McClintock, who worked to make graphics. Finally, we would like to thank you, the viewers at home, for your continued support. Ladies, it sounds like the rain is starting now to come down in buckets right at the end of the parade. Mother Nature <laughs> held out for us. We're good. <laughs> yes. Well, fortunately for the people watching at home, they're dry while we're a little cold and damp. But the broadcast doesn't end here. We would now like to show you some sights from this year's Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Tree Gala included with our credits. Then stay tuned for a behind-the-scenes look through pictures and videos so you can see how hard everyone worked during this production. It will also give you the chance to see if you know anyone on today's TV crew. Thank you so much for welcoming us into your home for this production of the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade. For Jackie Blake and Shelby Moore, I'm Tony Summers. From the entire WJMH Media family, we wish you a safe and happy holiday season. Welcome to WJMH Media's production of the Marshall County Chamber of Commerce Christmas Parade.